baby. <laughs> yes. Tears and smiles amid the embrace so many people to finally hug. <laughs> 60-year-old Tracy Cowan released from the Huron Valley Women's Correctional Facility after nearly 19 years behind bars. Too much time, many said, for the crime. What's today? <laughs> Freedom Day. Yeah. <laughs> and my angel here. Listen. Yeah, my family. This is this yeah. is the first day of the rest of her life. That's Rick Worshi, also known as White Boy Rick, who worked with lawmakers to secure Cowan's release. She was a nonviolent drug offender. She's been in here almost 19 years, so. We came to get her with her daughters and her family, so it's pretty exciting. Worshi knows that excitement well. He was just a teenager when he became a drug dealer turned FBI informant who spent more than three decades in prison before being released in 2020. So I was given a second chance, so I want to help them get a second chance. And reuniting Tracy with her family, it was very important to me. Tracy Cowan was sentenced to up to 40 years in prison after police found more than 650 grams of cocaine, along with marijuana and guns in her home as part of her boyfriend's drug dealing operation. Despite having a clean record, supporters say she paid a steep price for his crime. All of this happening after the brazen murder of notorious drug lord Maserati Rick. Gunned down by a rival gang in 1988, he was in the hospital when they came back to finish the job, killing him in his hospital bed. There was no restrictions um, on visiting this patient. There are sometimes restrictions imposed by patients or the police department, etc., and there were no restrictions on this patient. Many remember Maserati Rick or Richard Carter was buried in a $25,000 gold plated Mercedes Benz coffin. Maserati Rick was also the father of Tracy Cowan's children, now reunited with their mom after Governor Gretchen Whitmer commuted her sentence after nearly 19 years. 18 and a half has been long and it's been hurtful, but we learned some things and we just ready. Yeah, I'm so happy. Oh God, my angels, my family, I thank everybody. Cowan, a mother of three and grandmother to nine with another grandchild on the way, plans to work to give back to the community now that she's once again part of it. Over incarceration, over punishment, that's what we're gonna work on together. People that shouldn't be incarcerated for as long as they are. We made it to the finish line. Yeah, we made it to the finish line. In Pittsfield Township, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.